Hey everyone, thanks again for joining me here on Abiding in Grace. So glad to see you. Thanks for tuning in. And this week I just wanted to share with y'all a scripture. And it's such a popular scripture that when I say it, you're, have, you're going to have heard it before. Uh, it's such a popular scripture that, you know, we've turned it into songs. Maybe you've heard it in church before or, or seen it posted on a social website, or maybe you've just read it for yourself. But the scripture is actually in Psalm 51. And in Psalm 51, David is the writer. And he says, Lord, create in me a clean heart. Renew in me a steadfast spirit. Don't cast me away from your presence. Don't take your spirit away from me. And you've probably heard, again, you've probably heard that scripture. Maybe you've heard the song, but you can't help but just hear the agony and the sorrow in David's voice whenever he's crying out to God in this psalm. I mean, this scripture is really just self-explanatory. David is, is reaching out to God, pouring out his heart and saying, God, I've sinned before you. I've made a mistake. Don't cast me out of your presence. Don't take your spirit away from me. Create a clean heart in me. You know, guys, what I find interesting about this scripture is that there's many of us here today that are still quoting that scripture and speaking that scripture over our lives whenever we sin or whenever we make a mistake or whenever we feel like we fail God. And we say the same exact words that David said, or maybe we, we quote David and say, Lord, create in me a clean heart. I've sinned against you. I've made a mistake. You know, when Jesus died for us, the Bible clearly teaches that He brought in a new covenant for us, and now we're living under a new covenant. And that we're no longer living under that Old Testament where we need to work and obey all of God's laws perfectly in order to, in order to be approved by God. But now we are approved. As long as we're in Christ Jesus, we are approved. Because when God looks at us, He sees Jesus Christ now because of what He did for us on the cross. In Ezekiel 36, it says, that I will give you a new heart and I will put a new spirit in you. So that's another scripture that we have to take into context. That was just a prophecy of the New Testament. In, in another scripture, Jeremiah 31, it says that this is the covenant that I'm gonna make with my people. I will put my law in their hearts and in their minds. I'll dwell in them and I will be their people. Do you see the difference between the old and the new? In the old, David said, God, I failed don't cast me away. So he's basically saying that there is, there's a possibility of God casting him away because of his sin, which was very possible in the Old Testament. And then in the New, it's saying, I have created a new heart in you. I have given you a new spirit. I've made you into a new creation. So knowing that and, and having that knowledge that we're living under this new covenant, is it really right for us to say, God created me a clean heart. Give me a new heart. Give me a new spirit. Is it really right, accurate to say that? when God has already given us a new heart and a new spirit. So even when you sin, even when you make a mistake, you don't need to say, God created me a clean heart, created me a new spirit. Well, David said that in the Old Testament, but that's my point exactly. That's under the old covenant. You need to know that we are now under a new covenant. Just because David said that in the Old Testament doesn't mean that that applies universally to all of us here, especially under the new covenant, because Remember the other scriptures, he's created a new heart and a new spirit within you. You have a new heart, you have a new spirit. And when you make a mistake, it doesn't cancel that out. When you sin, it doesn't cancel that out. The only thing you need to do is say, you know what, I messed up, God, and you know I, I made a mistake, but Lord, I know that I'm still in your family. I know that you still love me, and I know that you still forgive me, and I know that my heart is still new, and therefore I'm going to start acting like I'm a part of your family. I'm going to let my actions align with my identity. What I'm saying is that the Old Testament prayer of creating me a new heart, creating me a new spirit, is something that we should not be saying here under the new covenant. If we've accepted Christ by faith and we, we have his blood over our lives, then in reality you have a new heart and you have a new spirit and you don't need to pray, God, give me a new heart, give me a new spirit. It is new. The only thing I would encourage you to do is to wake up to that reality. Begin seeing yourself new. Begin seeing yourself in that new identity. Begin seeing yourself with that new heart and that new spirit. And let that be, let that be the encouragement that you need uh, to have those good works that God, love, that God loves for us to have. Those good works that pleases Him as well. Let that be your fuel. Don't do it from a place of, if I don't, then God's going to cast me out of His presence because He never will. Do it from a place of, I'm a part of God's family, and I, therefore, I'm going to show forth good works as well. So know today that you have a new spirit, and you have a new heart, and let that bless you today.